हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ चंद्रशेखर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दिस इनक्रेडिबली वंडरफुल संडे का फंडा सीरीज इस सीरीज में हम या तो प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन आपको दिखाते हैं या फिर वी गिव यू द रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल्स एप्लीकेशंस टू मेक द कॉन्सेप्ट सिंपल इजियर एंड इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इसी सिलसिले में मैं आज आपको दिखाऊंगा कि हाउ ए साइफन वर्क्स सब लोग जानते ही होंगे कि साइफन होता क्या है इट इज नॉट ए डिफरेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट इज ए नॉर्मल पाइप ओनली बट जिस पाइप को यूज करते हैं टू रिमूव द लिक्विड फ्रॉम ए कंटेनर विच इज नॉट हैविंग एनी आउटलेट जब पाइप को ऊपर से डालते हैं टू टू ड्रेन आउट द लिक्विड देन दैट पाइप इज कॉल्ड ए साइफन बहुत सारे इसके प्रैक्टिकल रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशंस भी हैं। फॉर एन एग्जांपल, साइफन इज यूज टू ड्रेन आउट द वाटर फ्रॉम द बेसमेंट आफ्टर फ्लडिंग साइफन इज यूज फॉर कैरिंग द सीवेज बाय सिविल इंजीनियर्स केमिकल इंजीनियर्स साइफन हमारे घर में भी यूज होता है इन द फ्लश टॉयलेट टू ऑप्टेन द एक्चुअल फ्लश थ्रू द सिस्टम मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली द प्रोसेस ऑफ साइफनिंग इज यूज इन द फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ बियर एंड वाइन तो चलिए देखते हैं कि ये वर्क कैसे करता है मेरे पास दो कंटेनर है वन इज फिल्ड विद ए कलरफुल वॉटर जिससे आपको पता चले कि ड्रेन आउट हो रहा है एंड द अदर कंटेनर इज कंप्लीटली एम टी मैं एक एंड इस पाइप का लिक्विड में इंसर्ट करूंगा द अदर एंड इज इन टू द एम टी कंटेनर बट सबसे पहले हमें यहां पे वैक्यूम क्रिएट करना होगा मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूं इससे वैक्यूम क्रिएट करूंगा एक बार के लिए वैक्यूम क्रिएट हो जाएगा देन फ्लूड विल कंटिन्यू फ्लोइंग लेट अस ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व मैं इसको मुंह से वैक्यूम नहीं कर, 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 करना चाहूंगा क्योंकि ये कलरफुल लिक्विड है इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट गुड इट इज हार्मफुल तो चलिए एक बार वैक्यूम क्रिएट हो गया देन इट द लिक्विड फ्रॉम वन कंटेनर इज गोइंग टू ड्रेन आउट इन टू द अनदर कंटेनर देख पा रहे हैं आप लोग बट ये लिक्विड कब फिल होना खत्म होगा जब तक दोनों का लेवल ऑलमोस्ट सेम नहीं हो जाता राइट तो ये था साइफन का वर्किंग लेटेस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द Theoretical concept behind this phenomena. Let us move for the understanding the concept. Hello everyone. So guys, welcome back. Now let us try to understand how the siphon works. What is the mathematical principle behind working of this siphon? So we have already seen the practical demonstration. Now it is time to understand the theoretical concept behind working of siphon or what is the principle which is used here before we start let me first try to make you understand what exactly a siphon is siphon is a normal pipe only but when the pipe is used to transfer the liquid from one reservoir which is at a higher elevation to another reservoir which is at a lower level and when both the reservoirs are separated by a hill or high level ground so that pipe which is used to transfer the liquid is known as siphon so now let us try to understand the principle of working of siphon let me tell you the siphon works on the principle of Bernoulli or the Bernoulli equation. Let us try to understand how. Let me take point one at the free surface of reservoir one. Let me take this as point one, and the second reservoir, which is at a lower level, is initially empty. Let me take point two at the outlet of the siphon. Point one is taken at the inlet of the siphon, and point two is taken as the at the outlet of the siphon. so if we write the pressure energy potential energy and kinetic energy at both the points so 
प्रेशर एनर्जी एट वन इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज पी एटीएम वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इट इज जीरो बिकॉज द टैंक इज हैविंग ए लार्ज एरिया एंड द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी हेड कैन बी रिटर्न बाई टेकिंग ए रेफरेंस इफ वी टेक द हॉरिजोंटल लाइन दिस हॉरिजोंटल लाइन एज द रेफरेंस लाइन so z1 can be taken as minus of h1 because point 1 is lying below the reference line it will have the negative potential energy similarly point 2 because point 2 is the outlet of the siphon it is also p atm z2 is equal to minus h2 we can say h2 is greater than h1 isn't it that is how siphon works and v2 is unknown so if we apply the bernoulli equation between 1 and 2 we can comfortably say e1 is equal to e2 assuming the flow to be ideal to make our understanding simple otherwise there are always some energy losses but if we ignore the loss of energy then we can say point 1 will almost be having the same total energy as that of point 2 so if we write p1 by rho g pressure head plus z1 plus v1 square by 2g Is equal to in terms of head, it will be P two by rho g plus z two plus v two square by two g. P one by rho g getting cancelled out with this P two by rho g. V one is equal to zero, so it is minus h one is equal to minus h two plus v two square by two g. What is the value of v two? If we find out the value of v two, the velocity of the velocity at exit of the siphon v2 is equal to under root of 2g h2 minus h1 now point p is the top of the siphon so if we want to find out the uh, velocity at point p we can apply the continuity equation between 2 and p so because the area of the siphon remains constant because the area of the siphon remain constant so we can say a2 v2 is equal to discharge is equal to a2 v2 is equal to ap into vp and the ap value of ap is equal to a2 so we can say the velocity at point p is equal to velocity at 2 is equal to under root of 2g h2 minus h1 so the velocity of flow at both the points will be equal that is at point p and 2 now let us try to find out the pressure at p so again if we apply the bernoulli equation either between 1 and 2 1 uh, and p or between 2 and p so we can say according to bernoulli principle the total hydraulic energy at point 1 will be equal to total hydraulic energy at point p is equal to total hydraulic energy at point that remains constant as long as the flow is ideal so either apply the bernoulli principle between 1 and p or you can write the bernoulli equation between p and 2 to find out the pressure at p so p1 is equal to p atm v1 is equal to 0 z1 is equal to minus h1 and zp is equal to 0 vp is equal to v2 is equal to under root of 2g h2 minus h1 and pp pressure at p is unknown similarly p2 is equal to p atm z2 is equal to minus h2 and v2 is equal to under root of 2g h2 minus h1 so if we find out the pressure at p by either applying the bernoulli equation between these two points or these two points so the pressure at p that will be the absolute pressure will be equal to p atm minus rho g into h2 this will be the pressure at p which is less than p1 isn't it the pressure at point p will be less than p1 because the pressure at 1 is p atm so how the flow will be going to take place now try to understand the flow of fluid in the siphon so the siphon is having two parts from 1 to p the the pressure at p is less than pressure at p1 so the flow from 1 to p is due to pressure difference 
or we can say due to pressure gradient. Due to pressure gradient, the flow from 1 to P is taking place due to difference of the pressure. The flow will take place from high pressure to low pressure region. Once the fluid reaches at the point P, that is the peak, then the fluid will start flowing from P to 2. Then the fluid will start flowing from point P to 2 due to gravity or due to potential energy. Potential energy at P is higher compared to potential energy at 2. So due to gravity or the potential energy. So from 1 to P, the flow is due to pressure and from P to 2, the fluid flow will be due to gravity and it will be continuous flow as long as the condition getting satisfied. All right. So I hope this is clear to everyone. See you in the next such video. Till then, enjoy, take care, have a good day and a great career ahead. Jai Hind.